Hey everyone, my name is Mike. This is Shivana. We are here today doing another video and we are talking about prayer and how to pray. Um, we just want to give you some tips for anyone who um, wants to start praying and wants to, you know, you know, just build a relationship with the Lord. You know, that's how you build a relationship with the Lord is through prayer and just talking to him. You know, he wants us to talk to him and have a relationship with him. So our first topic is you want to thank God for your life. You, you thank him for you, for waking you up in the morning. Um, thanking God for you know his many blessings in your life just everything that he's done for you um, it's always good to just thank him right when you wake up just start thanking God mm -hmm. you know I always for me I always say this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and I will be glad in it and then I go straight into thanking him um, and God guess what he's not going to he's not gonna make you Pray to him. He's not going to make you talk to him. God is a gentleman. He is a gentleman and he wants us to invite him in. Just like you invite someone into your house um, for maybe a party or um, a, a gathering or a dinner or something like that. You know, God, he's going to knock at your door. And whether you invite him in, that's 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 up to you. But mm -hmm. I just know that God, he's always a gentleman and he's never going to just barge in when he's unwanted. Um, like I had to, like I was like in a season in my life where I was just like, I don't want to say I was like miserable, but like I was not grateful for like the things around me. I was just always like, oh my goodness, like complaining about everything and it, I guess you can say I was just being spoiled. and. And it wasn't so much that I didn't see that God was doing great things in my life, because he obviously was, but I was just so blinded to really be grateful for what I had that I felt like I was stagnant in my life and God wasn't blessing me like with more, you know? And one day I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm just so grateful. Like, I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for where I'm at in my life, even though it's Amen. not where I need to be or, you know, it wasn't in the place where my career or yes. education or whatever it is finances like even though it might not be exactly where you want it to be but god is so faithful and i would just thank him just for every little thing and it's one thing that kind of draws you to prayer is being in a season of thanksgiving and for me you know i'm if any of my um friends you know are watching um you know, I'm very big into a lot of comic books. I'm very big into a lot of, you know, action-packed cartoon superheroes. And, you know, you just look at Jesus as a superhero in a way. And I just go back to my past, you know, and I think of, like, Power Rangers. And I think of, you know, and I, I just think of, you know, those warriors and how, you know, you look and you, you take that and... You're like, wow, you know what? I want to be, I guess you can say for me, I, I want to be a power ranger for God. I want to, you know, you know, and you're, you're every day you're, it's a battle. Every day it's a battle. Every day it's a battle against the enemy who tries to come against us, you know? Mm -hmm. And we have to fight him at all costs. And we fight him with Jesus by our side. We can't fight him by ourselves, but we fight him with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's through prayer. That's the first thing is just through prayer. And, you know, and he loves it when we worship him. When we worship him, that is the best thing you can honestly do. Put on some worship music. Um, if you know some hymnals, just begin to sing to the Lord. Just, you know, just as David did, you know, in the Bible. You know, he came up with the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. And he would just praise God every chance he got. got. And, you know, he was a man after God's own heart. And, you know, if you want to be after God's own heart, you just worship him and just praise him because he delights in that. Yes, he does. And, you know, if you don't know what to pray for, you know, you know, just, 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 you can say, honestly, say the Lord's prayer, you know, and that comes out of Matthew chapter six, verses nine through 13, if you needed to know. Um, and that's just a, a synopsis prayer that you can use. Um, 
when you don't know what to say or you don't know what to pray. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, something that you can use is using the Lord's Prayer. Um, yeah, so whenever I see some new worship music that I either like just discovered or want to listen to, I kind of put it in that playlist. And it's so funny because a song would minister to me in that very moment of prayer and it'll be like expressing like what I'm feeling or expressing like what I'm going through. So always, it's always good like to have like a worship playlist when you pray so this way you can, um, you know, get inspired and get in the mood to pray. Every day there, there always seems to be like some season of song that you can use mm -hmm. like as you pray. Um, you know, whatever it may be, like just uh, just begin listening to, you know, some really good Christian music. And sometimes certain songs will just come to you and it mm -hmm. will resonate with your soul. And then that's when you use that to pray. And sometimes even reading your word can also help you pray. Yes. Like when you read your word, like certain things just come out. And like, honestly, when now when I read my word, I'll be reading it and like certain words will just pop out and it like will make me think of like a certain worship song that resonates with me and then I'll just begin to play it and I'll just begin to feel the, the presence of God mm -hmm. and you know so for any of you you know who you know are just getting into praying and you know this is you know you're you really want to wanting to grow your relationship with the Lord you know definitely just begin to worship him. That's all God commands us to do. He just wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. And just be truthful. Just be truthful to the Lord. You don't have to come being someone you're not. Just be truthful to him because he wants us to be. When we come truthfully, that's when he sees our hearts and our intentions. You know, he sees that, oh, wow, my child, you know, he's, you know, he's dealing with this, you know, or, he, you know, he needs this in his life or, or she needs this in her life. And, you know, this is something I need to look at mm -hmm. for my child and God, he will bless that. He, he blesses that when we are truthful and we are faithful to him. Like something my mother-in-law said, um, when take a jar. And when you take that jar, you need to see what you're putting in first before, you know, so that, I, I guess what she's saying. Mom. Yeah, my stepmom, you know, um, my stepmom. She basically said. Yeah, she was saying like, if you have, a, um, okay, so let's say you have like seeds and you have rice and you have beans oh, no. and, you put, and you put them in the jar and then you have a pine cone and you put the pine cone in the jar. Well, all of everything won't fit in that jar. But then if you put the pine cone first and then you add the seeds and then you add the rice and then you add the beans, everything fits in there perfectly. And the pine cone is God. Like if you put God first and then you add everything else in it, it'll your day and everything will add up perfectly. So much better. But if you put everything else first and then you add God, then it's just, he's, it's not gonna fit, like he's not gonna fit into your day or even into your life, your marriage, whatever. Like when you go into prayer, you need to have like a plan and um, say like, okay, like I'm gonna pray from this hour to this hour and I'm gonna start off with worship. I know there's so many like guides um, that you can find online to pray. There was this one little wheel that somebody um, gave us at church one time. It's like a little wheel and it tells you how much you do of each and different things like that. So it's always good like to have a plan and have a, you know, a guide that you use for prayer. And then you will eventually not even need the guide. You'll kind of start doing it on your own. Or maybe you'll kind of like add more stuff or spend 20 minutes on thankfulness, you know, and then 10 minutes on repentance and, you know, just however you want to do it. Just have like a game plan, whether you make it up yourself or you, um, you know, find one. He loves it when we come to him in secret a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, because there's certain things that the Lord, he wants to, you know, to do in our lives and he wants to deal with us in certain ways. And, and I just know that like praying in secret like it just shows that it just shows your devotion mm -hmm. to you know that you are devoted to what God is trying to get you 
to, to maybe realize in your life or whatever he has for you. And, you know, and I don't want to go too in depth because this is just for, you know, just a, uh, you know, prayer synopsis. I'll go more in depth on another video talking about the brazen altar um, and forgiveness um, when you pray. But um, yeah, we have a little treat for you. Yes. Hey everyone, so this is our closet. <laughs> it's our wonderful prayer closet as well. This is where we choose to come in secret and go to war. Um, here you see this is our war room. This is our war room strategy and how we choose to fight when we need to pray big things and we need to really go before the Lord in His presence. Um, first I'll come up with mine. You know, I have this war room strategy, you know, um, and you know, it's, you know, intentionally, you know, for me, I have to intentionally surrender my stubborn will because I'm a very stubborn person. Like I can be very stubborn and I just know that if I don't surrender myself before the Lord, I can tend to not have a very good day because things aren't surrendered. I don't give my counsel to the Lord. That's another thing. If you, you know, you, you, you want to ask God for his counsel in everything that you have going on, like whether it be Lord counsel me in the words that I say to people, counsel me in how I, what I hear, counsel me in my, in my thoughts, counsel me in everything that I have going on throughout this day, Lord. And you have to continuously do that. And that's just called dying and killing your, you know, killing your flesh. Um, not literally killing your flesh, <laughs> but like you have to die. <laughs> I can see them now stabbing themselves. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't. Hey, like, that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but, um, hey, um, but yeah, you really want to, like just Paul said in the Bible, we have to die daily before the Lord each and every day. And when we do that, we, our days are so much more better. Like our days are just like full of surprises, full of like wonderfulness. And that's not a word, but um, it's just so great. Um, and then I have like up here just, you know, um, prayerfully hanging out and talking with God, um, investing in my relationship with him and just going deeper. Um, for me, I like to pray scripture over all my circumstances, whether it be fam my family, my marriage, my friends, my job, my car, healing, um, you know, and then I go in maybe, you know, um, just praying for, you know, countries, praying for other missionaries in other countries, um, and practice the three Ps all day. And what the three Ps are is pause, pray, and repeat so when things get on your nerves or someone is getting on your nerves or they they're uh, tripping you out at work or tripping you out at school pause just kind of pause pray about it and then proceed with your day and you'll find out that your day will be so much better because you are able to pause thinking about what you're going to say before you say it and what you do and then praying about it and then proceeding on with your day we, we grow stronger in the Lord when we have a game plan of how we should pray and the Lord uses that as you know and he uses us he's able better able to use us when we have when we know how to pray and when we come to him repeatedly and continuously give you like an outline of like how I you know go about praying in the mornings in my war room and my strategy so first I have a prayer like for my husband and um like I'll talk more one day about that because it's so funny how so many of the things that I've prayed repeatedly for like it's happened and that's how in the movie war room that's what she did she had a prayer for her husband and slowly he started to become that man that you know she was praying you know for God to have him be and um, I have a prayer for my marriage I have a prayer just for little goals that we want to do things that we want to do together things that we want to do you know to strengthen our walks with God together so I like have a prayer for my marriage then I have a prayer for my family 
um, and I have like all my unsaved, you know, family members or family members I know who's going through stuff. Like I have all of them on here, so this way I can see their names. And some I have a prayer for my friends. Um, some people I'm really close with. Some people. <laughs> You always gotta be in the middle. Some people like I'm really close with and then some people like just comes on my like heart and I just put their name on there because I know they might be going through certain things and I'll just add their name to the friends. And then I have prayers for myself, you know, um, like for spiritual confidence and um, continual appetite for prayer and the Bible, you know, and um, just different little things to be a better aunt, a better sister, a better daughter, a better wife, like all these things I keep on here. So every morning when I pray, I always come in here and I kind of go through all my prayers and sometimes certain things will like stick out to me that I need to pray for or pray for that person or a situation. And once I go through all of this, it gets me motivated it's the camera <laughs> it gets me motivated to um definitely like pray more or whatever so this is the end of the video um i hope that you guys enjoyed and definitely if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe like this video comment down below what you know inspired you um we definitely want to do another video on the bible um how to be inspired to read your word how to go about reading the bible different things like that <laughs> so anyways why are you looking like that <laughs> anyway so i will see you guys in the next one and see you in the next one and definitely i know this has just been a journey doing all these videos and we are yes. going to continue to do all these videos as the Lord continues to grow our relationship with him and that he continues to bless our home and bless our family. And we can and we just ask that the Lord just blesses you as you watch this and that he gives you favor, uh, uh, you know, above all imagination. Thank you and have a great day. Say bye, cause she's so annoying bye. and have she's to so literally. She has to be in everything. Exactly, like oh my goodness. Are you happy now? You in the camera? Now you want me to look at the camera? <sighs> bye. Bye. <laughs>